150 plus engineers and domain experts which are located across USA and India. And as we uh, say about our strength, we have domain experts for various industries as well. We are dedicated to driving digital transformation with technical excellence for businesses across various domains like automotive, media and entertainment, industrial and home automation, consumer electronics, telecommunication, networking, data center, healthcare and many more. We also have a portfolio of VLSI design, verification and mixed signal IPs, as well as we have custom IP development services also. So in a nutshell, this was something what we do at Mossship and we have been doing this from past 25 years and we will continue doing this into silicon engineering and product engineering solutions for the customers across the globe. We also hold a technology partnership with many leading semiconductor manufacturers as well as we have IoT partnerships and AI ML partnerships with other uh, leading companies as well. Uh, with this, I would like to next introduce you uh, to the agenda of our webinar today. So uh, at high level, I would like to brief about the agenda, which is, you know, we'll be introducing our speakers, we'll be introducing the topic, we'll know why digital strategies fail these days for enterprises and businesses. We'll also know how Mosschip Digital Sky can help you build a successful digital strategy as well as we'll introduce you to the Mosschip Digital Sky Innovation Hub. Moving further in the agenda, we'll also be showcasing and highlighting how Mosschip Digital Sky gives technology and vertical solutions, that is for various industrial domains. And at the end, we'll open the floor for Q&A session. With this, I would like to introduce our speakers for the webinar. The first speaker is Mr. Vishal Patil, who is Senior Vice President, Product Engineering BU at Mosship. He has more than 24 years of experience in product engineering services with expertise cutting across multiple industrial verticals and working on a wide gamut of technologies, including embedded systems, IoT, cloud computing, software engineering, and machine learning. Our second speaker for the webinar is Mr. Sombabu Guniti. He is Associate Vice President, Digital Engineering at Mosship, and he holds 18 years of industry experience. He has extensively worked in the domains like Smart City and Industrial IoT, and he has successfully designed and delivered multiple IoT projects in his professional experience. At Mosship, he is responsible for concept to platform design, development, and delivery. He's also an alumni of IASC Bangalore. With this, I would like to pass on to Vishal and I would like him to start the webinar. Over to you, Vishal. Thanks, Pima. Hi, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's a pleasure to have all of you. I welcome you all. Uh, we'll be talking as per what the topic is all about knowing about the strategies that fail, and then we'll get into details about how those strategies and the failures that are there can be overcome uh, with Mosher Digital Sky and or other solution strategies that are there. The first slide that I'm going to talk about is more about progressive digital strategies, which means that we are in an AI era. We are in digital era, we know about it, all of that particular stuff. Uh, and we, we, we are here to take a deep dive into a couple of suit of solutions uh, that will enable more uh, next generation digital strategies per se. I surely don't want to get into the marketing numbers of what digital and AI and IoT and other stuff that are there. Uh, we already know that there are billions of devices getting connected and uh, more, more importantly, there's a huge amount of data that's, get, get, that's getting generated uh, overall. And there's investment out over there in the AI, uh, deep learning and machine learning sectors per se. So let's get into and step back. 
what was the digital strategies that were there that's been mostly talked about uh, in the digital space. I'm talking about the fusion of OT and ID. This is one of the largely adapted strategies over the last one decade probably. The OT in this uh, is more about the edge part of it, which is more of the products. It can be your machines, it can be your devices, it can be your smart watches and all of that. So OT usually is to focus on the management and control of the physical devices and existing in the physical world. So it's more about getting real, very near to the edge per se. IT on the other side was the backbone of your areas of computer storage, data centers per se. And all of this strategies that were built up over the last one decade was to actually get the fusion of OT and IT working together. It essentially was allowed or thought through that these will probably bring in more agility and work together in tandem. While with this IT and OT, we intended that different technologies will be integrated and will interoperate efficiently uh, as one single cohesive system. Of course, we did get a lot of benefit out of it or some benefit, benefit out of it, which include cost optimization, probably improved operational efficiency, manage a lot of assets uh, and enhanced visibility. But when we engage with our clients in the product development spaces, the challenges tend to follow a pattern that they see that they have not been able to get the real ROI uh, because of these strategies that they've gone through. And probably that also brought in a lot of silos, operations, silo data, uh, data and silos bringing in uh, departments working in a different manner per se, uh, disconnected systems overall underutilized data and a lack of contextual intelligence. What this means is that we have seen these shortfalls coming together. In fact, if you really look at it from a standpoint of the current generation, these strategies that were a decade back, from there, the expectations of the workers, the digital workers, the digital customers and the consumers have gone a little bit higher because they have now started using a lot many digital gadgets per se. There's a mismatch between what the customers and the workers expect based on their skill set and their knowledge versus what the OT and IT fusion is trying to bring in. So what this means to me is that in the first way of digital transformation, the connected machines and automated workflows were brought together, but the experience remained incomplete. The ROIs were not there. And more importantly, it was more transactional. It was not personal. That I think has been a shortfall of the strategies that were brought in over the last one decade. While we discuss these key challenges with multiple clients, we have been relooking into various architectures, designs, and approaches to see how we at Mosship can solve the key gaps and these shortfalls. That's what we'll talk about in the next slide. We talked about the OT and we talked about the IT part of it. What we intended is that while we're talking about OT and IT, the overall part where people come into picture have not been areas where the strategies are coming together. People do play a vital role in the digital journey. And if you look back, we have realized that machines have been connected and made smarter, but we have forgotten the people. We felt that enterprises should be moving beyond the systems and machines to truly prioritize people and operations they perform. People and operations that they perform should be central to the digital strategy. That I think is a very key aspect of the three key pillars that I'm talking about. So operation is the third pillar. The operations is the third key foundational component that needs to be part of every design strategy and architecture. Our approach firmly believes that functional persona of every individual is important and assistance of technology 
to perform the operations is going to be key. The KPIs of every persona, let it be a field engineer, let it be a doctor, let it be a developer, let it be a tester, everyone is performing those functional operations. And that missing piece of operations is going to be important. The emerging technologies should be becoming more human. That means we should be delivering more personalized experience that empowers every individual within the enterprise ecosystem as well as outside the enterprise ecosystem to perform his operations in a better way. As part of MOSHIP Digital Sky, we believe that enterprises should deeply understand various functional personas, including customers, employees, as well as partners, and empower them to do respective operations while also providing them contextual intelligence that makes every interaction seamless and meaningful. As part of most of digital, digital sky initiatives, we will be in a position to enable enterprises with technology solutions that feel more personal in every aspect of the business. This approach will reduce the chasm between the existing product, IT, and now the third component that is operations and enhance the productivity, agility, and efficiency across the organization. I think when you talk about these three things working together, as we go forward, you will realize that as a tandem, as a fusion, these three components will really go ahead and bring in agility and efficiency more. In summary, we think that enterprises should go beyond the technology and focus on operations and people-centric approach. Going forward, the persona focused operations and technologies we will also become a central part to the success of every organization and enterprise. We'll continue and talk about in detail what Moship Digital Sky is all about. While we talked about how the strategies for persona is going to help, Moship Digital Sky, from an introduction standpoint, while I'm talking about it, what we have heard from time and again from our customers is that they aren't just looking for systems. They are seeking intelligent, connected, and personalized solutions that fit their unique needs to drive real outcomes. Through Moship Digital Sky, we are going to offer comprehensive next generation suite of digital solutions designed to empower enterprises to build connected as well as intelligent ecosystems. These suite of digital solutions will provide a blueprint for the future of intelligent product engineering. Now, it will beyond it empower and be in a powerful digital solution foundation for enterprises to build, scale, and innovate for future readiness. How we'll do that is upcoming in the next slides. So let's talk about what the suit of digital solutions is all about. Overall, if you look at it in the earlier slides, I did talk about it, but I'll repeat that with a little bit bang. Our approach revolves around three key pillars, which is digital products, digital IT, and digital operations. All essential for a holistic transformation and enabling the futuristic products and enterprises. Just connecting systems is no longer sufficient. To truly thrive every aspect of your enterprise, you must be enriching that with intelligence. This means connectivity as well as intelligence should be default norm for every aspect of the enterprise. Our focus is not just on integrating systems and reducing the chasm between product, IT, and operations. It's also about embedding intelligence into these three core functions and enhancing the productivity and operational efficiency while also providing domain-centric persona-driven intelligence. Our approach revolves around digital products, which includes the connected products as well as intelligent products. That's what I mentioned about connectivity and intelligence. So while we're talking about products, which was digital products or smart products that were talked earlier, now every product should have intelligence and connectivity inbuilt within it. We should be talking about digital IT, where we again talk about connected IT and intelligent IT. And lastly, 
who talked about digital operations, which is having connected operations as well as digital operations. This, you know, holistic picture is what the suit of digital solutions is all about. Let me talk a little bit more detail of what this is all about, if it's a little bit confusing to you all. Digital products, when I talk about connected products over here, it's about seamless integration across product platforms and asset management via cloud and mobility. When I talk about intelligent products, it's about designing AI-powered, secure, and personalized smart digital experience products. These AI-powered edge systems enable you to design connected and intelligent products that can personalize user experience, predict maintenance needs at the edge, and integrate seamlessly with digital platforms like cloud and mobility. These aren't just smart products that we're talking about. They are also evolving themselves. They're learning themselves and adapting every new day as per the users who is using that particular product. That adaption is what we call as autonomous at the edge. Right? That's in totality the connected products and intelligent product giving you a holistic digital product experience. The experience and the expectations of digital IT has moved into connected IT and intelligent IT. Now, connected IT means actually modernizing the applications and data architectures while reducing the silos that we talked about in the initial slide and designing the IT infrastructure to be accessed from anywhere at an any time. Intelligent IT is about automating and embedding intelligence in every aspect of IT infrastructure, processes, and that together will be in position to reduce your cost as well as bring in agility within your IT systems. Intelligent data infrastructure uses AI to help manage the data as well as achieve systems to self-optimize themselves. Intelligent infrastructure can thus help reduce the cost and complexity. It's about automating your processes and enabling systems to self-optimize itself. These intelligent IT and connected IT in holistically be the next generation digital IT requirements that we will be seeing through. While we talk about the last part which is the digital operations which connects the connected operations as well as intelligent operations. The integrating Connected operations about integrating business functions and operations to work better, faster with workflows, data flows, and control flows, which are automated together. Intelligent operations is all about persona-specific intelligence, data-driven decision-making, and automations. These connected operations allow organizations to connect their assets in the cloud while providing real-time visibility in, into their operations. Connected operations can help organization reduce downtime as well as improve the, the OE, which is the overall equipment eff effectiveness. It will also give you complete visibility and of the connected systems and automated workflows. While intelligent operations on the other side will actually be integrating the workflows and automating decision-making processes based on real-time data. The worker bots, the micro bots, uh, the digital bots help in self-assistant mechanisms for accurate decisions, increased productivity, and better efficiency. So that, I think, in a holistic way, if you look at it, will be in position to create digital solutions for seamless connectivity and intelligence across products, IT, and operations. That's the answer of how we'll be in position to reduce the chasm between these three key components that we're talking about. Let me talk a little bit more in detail about what will be the architecture goals for Moisture Digital Sky. Every client that we've been talking about has unique challenges and Moisture Digital Sky, we have the flexibility to tailor solutions that align perfectly with your specific goals. These three components that you are seeing about the product, IT and operations, have been built and the solutions that we are talking about have been built on basis on a couple of key architecture goals, which includes definitely having reusable components and modular components that are scalable and self-healing. 
which means that the solutions will be in position to build. They, they can be actually grabbed together. They will be a suit of these libraries as well as reusable components that can be flexibly scaled up as and how you want it. They will have self-service capabilities within themselves, which is bringing resiliency overall. And all of this will be definitely be secure on the edge as well as on the cloud. More importantly, we'll have interoperability as one of the key challenges that will be fixed as part of the MOSCHIP Digital Sky Solution Suit. The standards that we're talking about is various operations as various vertical components have got various standards that needs to be followed. So the standards can be on the edge in terms of how the data has been consumed, how the assets have been working, as well as vertical solution standards, which can be medical specific, automotive specific, or others that have been considered while we are building this MOSCHIP Digital Sky Solution Suits. In fact, at the last, these reusable and modular components are configurable and deployable across various platforms. So the, with this, the architectural goals and the thought process that we have in terms of reducing the chasm, you will be in position to see more of these particular solutions that we can utilize for your solutions going forward. Let me talk, take a deep dive uh, in the technology element. For most of these solutions that we're talking about, we take a deep dive into the technological details and how they map to the three pillars that we talked about. In this webinar, Soma will anyway discuss how MOSCHIP Digital Sky addresses various challenges by offering a comprehensive suit of solutions, which includes Gen AI, machine learning, IoT, RPA, cloud, data modernization, and security, including cybersecurity and more. You will be learning how enterprise can bridge the gap, align the technologies with people, as well as drive continuous innovation and real-time results that, that can be brought in. By uniting the products, IT and operations with connectivity and intelligence, we are empowering the business to unlock new level of performances, flexibility and agility. Why, what I mentioned in the earlier slide is that Digital Sky initiatives will be more reusable and modular. In tandem, working together to create an accelerated solutions that put together will be positioned to provide a connected enterprise and product platform. While we are creating all of this, you can utilize the reusable and modular components as, per, as part of your solution that you want to drive. Let me also talk a little bit more in terms of where we started and where we ended last. We talked about three key pillars, which is digital products, digital IT and digital operations. We talked about mapping those to the technologies. Now on this particular slide, I'm going to talk about how each of those uh, key pillars are now mapped in detail with the technological part of it. When you talk about products, we are talking about connected, secure products that are there. When you say secure, it's more on the edge security that we're talking about. The product needs to be secure right from boot security up to the application security on the edge. Of course, we'll have better user experience uh, overall. When you talk about the intelligent products, it's about persona-based experiences along with edge ops and others. What is edge ops? Edge ops is an infrastructure management technology that helps you operationalizes your edge network employing automation and orchestrations. AJOPS enables automation with zero touch provisioning and prevents downtime at the edge. The edge intelligence, of course, is what we call as edge AI nowadays, will be leading to have inferences working at the edge, providing faster decisions and more autonomous capability at the edge. While well, move from there into the digital IT, the connected IT will be talking about cloud native strategies, the data modernization, the application modernizations, and of course, the asset management along with digital twins. In an AI powered digital twins, the, they will be in position to optimize production processes, reduce downtime and enhance efficiency while any other projects will be integrating the cloud and edge AI to create more adaptive and personalized experiences. The intelligent IT is more about DevOps, DevSecOps, AIOps, 
or infrastructure as a pool or all bringing in together the intelligent operations at the infrastructure level for the digital IT guys to work through. Similarly, on the digital operations, the connected operations is all about creating that real time visibility across from the asset that is there on the edge till the cloud and knowing the traceability of that and providing that process control over mobility experiences. Intelligent operations on the other side will be in position to do predictive and prescriptive solutions in the hands of your personas, which means that while a service guy is there, he will be in position to not only see the tickets, but he will be also able to look at the diagnosis of how that ticket can be solved, as well as giving some analysis of the, the earlier history and details overall. The persona specific assistance along with RPA will be in position to automate a lot of these workflow automations for, 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 the, for the service guy. I think that's in a nutshell how the mapping of the key, key technology pillars are moving with the technologies that we're talking about. Now, let me talk a little bit more about one more aspect that is missed. We're going to talk about the innovation hub. This is Moship Digital Sky Innovation Hub. We are unveiling this Moship Digital Sky Innovation Hub. This hub enables enterprises to co-create next generation solutions. Moship will be guiding the client partners from ideation to product design and prototyping, leveraging the cutting in technologies, expert talent and streamlined processes, along with the modular and reusable components that we have created as part of Moship Digital Sky Solution Suit. Whether you are reshaping the future of your product or redefining your digital strategies roadmaps, the Innovation Hub is your gateway to creating the solutions of tomorrow. The Digital Sky Innovation Hub is your strategic partner in navigating the complexities of modern product development. We will empower you to innovate with confidence, tackle the technological challenges and deliver risk-free solutions that generates tangible, long-lasting impact on the products and your end customers surely. Let us help you create a digital ecosystem where each persona is understood, valued and empowered. Together, we can build the connected, intelligent enterprise that not only meets today's challenges, but also thrives on the future. With that, and the details that I've created, I'll hand over to Som Babu to talk about more in-depth technological related stuff. Thank you. Thanks, Vishal. Uh, thanks, Vishal. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. It's my pleasure to meet you all. I'm Som Babu, heading digital group at Moschip. As Vishal rightly said, we have considered digital products, digital IT and digital operation as foundational pillars for all those initiatives we are currently working on in digital group. And we started building multiple solutions, frameworks, reusables in IoT, AI, ML, Gen AI, RPA and cybersecurity. Let me tell you, here our focus is Definitely on integrating system, no doubt in that. But not only that one, definitely we are focusing even on <coughs> reducing the gap between products, IT and operations. As Vishal said, we achieve these goals by embedding intelligence into these three core functions. That is digital products, digital IT and digital operations. We strongly believe that we offer a better value to our customers a value in terms of enhancing the productivity, a value in terms of improving operational efficiency, a value in terms of improved stakeholder experience through domain centric persona driven intelligent applications. Let us deep dive and let us understand more. Let us glimpse through Mastiff Janevoti solutions. These solutions are a true collaboration of IoT, AI and Gen AI. IoT that means connectivity, AI that means intelligence, Gen AI that means operational excellence. 
that's why we call it as gen aot now let us understand more from edge point of view these edge solutions support variety of device protocols ranging from ble zigbee g wave matter and even industrial protocols like modbus opc and bacnet you can onboard both iot devices as well as iot gateways securely using x.509 certificates and it offers two templates you can do field provisioning as well as factory provisioning these edge gateway and edge gateway frameworks they support even firmware upgrades over the air reboot reset kind of operations remotely through this edge framework you can run even aml workloads directly on the edge devices directly on the low power edge devices now let us understand more from digital it point of view through edge ops through devsecops through digital it tools you can manage device life cycle you can do remote monitoring of device activity by sitting in your room itself you can track device logging you can track device file systems and you can track device port settings using the security agent running on the cloud now let us understand more from digital operations and personas point of view master gen iot empowers multiple personas it offers admin portal for service providers mobile application for end customers field service tablet app for technicians variety of tools and apis for uh, third party vendors your channel partners your insurance partners soon we will be hosting a separate webinar exclusive webinar on genevot features we love to welcome you all to that session as vishal said these genevot of uh, features solutions are modular reusable scalable and secure and in line with our platform goals and platform approach so far we have enabled 32 millions of edge devices and delivered 40 plus product transformation projects now let us glimpse through uh, mastic ai ml gen ai solutions these solutions empowers enterprises to harness the full potential of ai and gen ai our end to end ai ml gen ai solutions include number 1 r&d number 2 data sets preparation number 3 algorithm development number 4 model development and model deployment and then model testing and then model fine tuning so we we cover all the services in al ml domain these solutions are scalable and impactful definitely these solutions can be tailored even for your custom needs as part of mastup digital sky innovation hub we have designed end to end ml pipeline for various low power embedded platforms for example renesas fpga latis fpga and nvidia jetson also we have worked on variety of ai ml foundational models for example object detection image segmentation image classification ocr facial recognition text summary document summary language translation speech to text text to speech speaker recognition noise cancellation and headphones a detection these kind of foundational models we have worked next what we have done is we went ahead and started using the foundational models what we have shown in the previous slide and started building vertical solutions using this for example a patient monitoring system using adverse detection we have live demonstrated this solution in the recently concluded embedded world north america event similarly we have worked solutions for automotive domain a building management system domain healthcare domain we at moschip we had experience uh, in running ai ml workloads not only on cpu boards or gpu boards or cloud servers but also on low power 
8G devices like FPGAs, MCU boards, MPU boards. In fact, we are AGI experts, worked extensively on AGI, edge intelligence, edge inference applications. So far, we have delivered around 80 plus AML solutions. In few weeks, we are releasing 50 plus AI ML models into the market. I feel very proud to announce this one. In few weeks, we are releasing 50 plus AI ML models into the market. Using these models, you can build multiple use cases in various domains. For example, smart metering, automotive domain, BMS domain, or healthcare domain. Soon, we will be hosting an exclusive webinar on this also. Now, let's glimpse through MassChip data analytics solution. As part of MassChip Digital Sky Innovation Hub, what we have done is we have designed a AI-powered query builder where you can give the input in human natural language. That means in simple English, you can give your input. So you can query any kind of data about your IoT devices or IoT systems or IoT data in a simple English language. What this platform does is it will analyze your query. It will convert into SQL, NoSQL commands using Gen AI and fetch the data from our databases and uh, starts displaying on the screen using Azure Power BI and AWS uh, QuickSight. We trust this is one of the game changing feature. Through this solution, we are empowering multiple personas. Generally, what happens is it means and field technicians, generally they won't have this much in-depth domain knowledge, uh, unlike a domain expert, right? But still they can effectively query the system get the data and benefit from the data analytics. So that's the power of this particular solution. This feature can be integrated into any digital product. Now let's glimpse through uh, MassChip RPA and automation initiatives. As part of this initiative, we are working on intelligent automated solutions, DevOps, QA ops, RPA and bots. Number one, persona centric intelligence. Number two, enhanced experience. Number three, ease of doing operations. We are considering these three as the core themes in all the automation activities we are taking under distance sky. Now let us glimpse through MassChip cybersecurity initiatives. As part of MassChip distance sky innovation hub, we have come up with a very small footprint uh, uh, device security agent which can run on variety of IoT devices and IoT gateways. This agent will monitor the device activity and inform to cloud, basically inform to your IT team in real time. It will monitor device logins, your device file system and device port settings. If any abnormal activity is found, if any deviation is found in device settings, it will immediately notify your IT team. We have multiple versions of uh, device security agent and we have tested a variety of hardware boards and a variety of OS also. For example, embedded Linux, uh, autos, etc. And the footprint is really, really very small. It's in KBs only. Also, we offer uh, TPM, Trusted Platform Management, TEE, Trusted Execution Environment, uh, even crypto services for device platforms. Edge security services for embedded systems, pen testing services for web portal and mobile applications, cloud security services for cloud applications and infrastructure. Now, let us take a small pause here. So far, we have gone through MassChip technology solutions. Now, let us discuss few vertical initiatives. First of all, let's glimpse through MassChip Smart Meters Initiative. Government of India has initiated DLI scheme, design linked incentive scheme to create a vibrant ecosystem for chips design in India for entire world. MassChip has designed smart energy meter chip and recently test chip also taped out. We are building the end to end ecosystem softwares for smart metering solutions. 
as part of this what we are doing is we are using the smart energy meter ic designed by us in house we are building a board around this chip again in house we are developing the software in house using the lora protocol we are implementing all supported modules for example dlms hchc uh, compatible module cosm modules all these modules we are uh, developing and we are building the services like smart metering demand tariff management home energy management these kind of solutions we are trying to bring under smart meter uh, domain soon we will be hosting a separate webinar on this now let us glimpse through mastership heavy machinery monitoring solutions as part of this we are building the solutions like connected machinery for example connected elevators connected vending machines connected compressors connected industrial refrigerators etc also we are building the solutions like firmware upgrades over the air condition based maintenance predictive maintenance uh, asset tracking solutions geofence solutions like that mastship has already released a diesel generator monitoring solution into the market uh, with the brand name mastship hems uh, you can check that now let's uh, look into uh, mastship bms initiative as part of this initiative we are building uh, some solutions like video access control uh, energy consumption monitoring uh, smart building automation asset tracking uh, most importantly indoor air quality monitoring this kind of solutions i hope you have enjoyed the session let us take a small pause now i request vishal to conclude the session thank you so mabu from a conclusion standpoint guys uh, we talked about the pain areas within the earlier digital strategies we talked about digital products it's and operations coming together to reduce a particular chasm between all of them we talked about mosship digital sky suite of solutions that includes modular and reusable components working together to build the digital products digital it and operations working together and creating those solutions for you that you can utilize we talked about various technology enablements using that's part of this suite of solutions right from iot ai gen ai cloud security mobility and others and more importantly we talked about the innovation hub the mosship digital sky innovation hub where we will be inviting you to innovate together with us and be part of this journey for connected and intelligent enterprises thank you all and we will be open for q and a if you have any questions be asked Uh, Vishal, someone is asking about RPA on social media channel. Can you read out the question? What is RPA? Yeah, it's uh, about it's all about robotic process automation. So the kind of tools we'll be using to make intelligent uh, automations, so okay. that uh, the end persona. Uh, need not do any manual work so most of the stuff will be uh, like automatically taken care of through these automations and make their life a uh, very simple and easy if you remember we have mentioned one of the key aspect for automation is ease of doing operations yes we are talking about empowering the personas we are talking about variety of tools but we are also talking about ease of doing these operations right so that is where the rpa comes into the picture and help different different personas doing their day to day operations in a more effective and efficient manner using these uh, robotic process automation tools more importantly when you talk about rpa this is about repetitive tasks that are there so when you talk about digitizing couple of the repetitive tasks that somebody is doing that's where the rpa will come into picture it's more about automating your uh, repetitive processes if that can be mapped together 
and putting them as part of the complete workflow. Uh, it can be a very small task versus it can be a combination of those tasks which can work together as, as a workflow completely. Thank you. So can we have date about the next session? Maybe we can get back to the audiences soon. Yeah, we'll get back to the audiences and uh, keep keep watching our, our websites as well as uh, our handles on LinkedIn and YouTube. So we can call it for a day, Vishal. And yeah. so much. thank you for that. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, bye.